Hello, Nikolai from EvoSep. Today we're going to take a look at our first lab prototype. And as you can see, we have built the instrument using chipwood. We have done this because we are now playing around with the industrial design, and it makes it very easy for us to make changes and also move the individual components around. We have now started to use the pumps from ASI. Down here we have the low pressure pumps. Each pump has a pressure sensor, and we're also still using the degasser to degas the solvents. On the next level, we have the flow sensors. So the green flow sensors are for the low pressure pumps, and at the back we have a high pressure sensor hiding. We have consolidated all the low pressure operations onto one valve. So this is a custom 12 port valve from Vichy. This is our high pressure valve, and here we have the high pressure pump and the pressure sensor. So the idea is that we want each pump to be in a pump module. So if anything happens to a channel, we can basically just pull out the entire pump module and exchange it with a new one, and then we're uh, good to go again. Here we have the tip rack, so this is also newly designed. Uh, and really accommodates the tips quite nicely. If we take a look at the auto sampler, we can now see that it's, it's just ejected the tip, but the tip cup has been upgraded with a tip alignment tool that makes sure that the tip is really oriented nicely into the receptacle. We're using a ceramic, ceramic needle uh, instead of a stainless steel needle. And this would be our loop valve and you can see that we're currently running with a 30 microliter loop. And all of this is now hooked up to a QTOF instrument from Bruca. So we are still using our prototype or mock-up uh, pump PCB uh, that Lasse made, that I talked about last week. Uh, and this is good enough for our initial work, but we really need uh, Jesper's uh, prototype PCBs to be finished so that we can start optimizing the method. So hopefully this will be done sometime in the next few weeks. But next week I will take a look at what Jesper has done so far and uh, give you a better idea of, of what he's doing. So see you next time and until then, bye bye.